we can see that Vitel Pay is number one on both the app and Play Store. After looking at this app, this animation jumped out to me. You can see that when the user presses on the pig, that there's an animation which brings the icons in from the top with a bit of a bouncing effect. This is what we're gonna build today. We're starting off with Expo and React Native. So you can see here that we have a brand new Expo project. Our file open right now is app.js. You can see that's brand new and nothing's been changed. I'm gonna close the file explorer because not, we're not gonna be working in any, any other file. I think a good start with this application would be building this button. In order to do that, we're gonna to need to import a dependency from React Native. Touchable highlight. Now we need to style it a bit so that we can see it. If I save and refresh, I get an error. So let's go ahead and add a text. Okay, that looks good. Now let's go ahead and round it. Okay. So this line is getting a little bit long. So let's go ahead and destructure our styles down into our style sheet. Save it, refresh, everything looks good. Okay, let's go ahead and center our text. And that works. And now, let's go ahead and update our text to center as well. Okay, everything looks good. Now we need to move it to the bottom right. Okay, there we go. It looks like everything is working correctly. You can see that when we press the button, nothing happens. That's because we haven't added an event handler yet. Let's do that now. Now we'll add, now we'll add the function to the top. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and console log just to make sure this works correctly. So now we can see that when we press this button, our console logs open modal. Okay, now let's implement our modal. In order to do so, we're gonna import modal from React Native. Then we're gonna use it. We want the background to be transparent. And we want that animation to fade. Visibility is gonna correspond to our state of visibility.
We don't have this yet, so let's go ahead and implement it. Here on line 10, we're just grabbing our modal visible variable off the state object. Next, let's go ahead and add a default state. Okay, everything looks good. Let's save and make sure we didn't break anything. Okay, everything looks okay. Now let's implement the content inside the modal. Okay, so we've implemented the content. Let's go ahead and implement opening the modal. Okay, so when I click on this, we should see modal open. Okay, there we go, we see it right here. Let's go ahead and add some background. Okay, that works nicely. Remember we click on the modal, the background dims a bit. Let's go ahead and implement closing the modal next. In order to do that, we're gonna add a new function for closing the modal. We'll also add another touchable highlight within the view of the modal. And the button's gonna be stopped the same, so we need to change this. Oops, I forgot to pass the event handler. Let's try this again. All right, so we see that our modal is opening and closing. Let's go ahead and add some text right here so that we can see what's behind it. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so now we need to add a little button right here as well. just copy all these styles. We'll change this background to yellow as well as some of the names. Okay, you can't see it right now because it's actually behind this button. We're going to go ahead and start working on our animated effect. So we're going to import animated from React. We're going to store the animated value in state.
Next, let's go ahead and create a function which will trigger this animation. We're gonna grab the state value. And then we're gonna run an animated.timing and pass it that value. The next value is going to be the configuration for the animation. We also need to call this function. And lastly, we also need to import using. Where would that come from? Hmm. We're going to clean this up a little bit because this line is getting a little bit long. Okay, we've got a bug, and it looks like it's going to work. Hmm. Oh, we haven't called this yet. We haven't called our open animation whenever we open the modal. So let's go ahead and pass this. Let's go ahead and pass this to our set state function call as the callback. Okay, it doesn't seem like everything's broken. Now we need to pass our animated value to this touchable highlight. Oh, I forgot to mention, we also need to wrap our touchable highlight in the animated view. Now, we need to go ahead and pass the value of the animation to animated view. Oops, looks like we've messed this up a bit. Oh, we also need to pass it the same style properties so that it's also in the bottom left, the bottom right. There we go. Now we're getting only one button. Additionally, let's go ahead and change the color. And this line is getting a bit long too. Need to pass this style. Okay, that looks good. Okay, we've been at this for a while, so let's take a few moments to just relax 
and watch the waves. Okay, enough of that. At this point, we're really close. Once we click this button right here, the modal pops up and the yellow button pops in. Now, all we have to do is duplicate this behavior for two additional buttons. So I'm just gonna copy this right here. And we're gonna make a couple changes. So I think it was maps on the bottom, phone up top. And in order to make our life easier, we're just going to use this styling again, but with a couple of uh, additional changes. So we'll say um, map uh, style, phone style. Now we'll just perform some calculations in order to cause the translation to be higher for these buttons. Then we'll pass these styles to the other buttons. Okay, for the moment of truth. Oops, I forgot to change the colors. So we'll just say blue, orange, pink. Okay, that looks good. Now we need to add the bouncing effect. In order to do that, we're gonna add one more function. We're gonna copy this animation right here. And the only difference is that we're gonna perform the inverse. We're gonna set it back to zero. As well as adding uh, additional easing. We're gonna use a Bezier. Lastly, whenever we close our modal, we're gonna call this function. Okay, seems like everything's working well and our animation is working the way that we expect. Make sure to like and follow if you like the video and would like to see more content like this. In the next video, we'll be implementing additional behavior.